In 1896, in the Plessy versus Ferguson decision, the Supreme Court upheld that, that racially segregated public facilities were constitutional as long as they were deemed to be equal. So for nearly 60 years, Jim Crow laws were normalized and allowed to become embedded in Southern culture and life. It's thought that the phrase Jim Crow came from Jump Jim Crow, a song and dance caricature of blacks performed by a white actor named Thomas Rice, who performed in blackface in the 1830s and 40s. In the 1954 Brown versus Board of Education decision, the Supreme Court finally reversed itself. And a march toward justice began. In Little Rock, the pilgrimage visits the only civil rights monument on any state capital grounds. It depicts in granite nine students chosen to integrate Little Rock Central High, the Little Rock Nine. Books in hand, outside the window of the governor's office. And in front of the line is a likeness of Elizabeth Eckford. She says she thinks it's a good likeness, yet wonders about creating statues of the living because there's still time to mess up. And there was a mess up on September 4th, 1957. Elizabeth's family had no phone to receive the call for the nine to meet at Daisy Bates' home and all go to school together. Bates, the president of the Arkansas chapter of the NAACP, had recruited them, students, strong enough to survive and not lash out while being taunted. So 15-year-old Elizabeth is walking alone. She missed the call. She's walking alone toward Central High for her first day of school after reading the 27th Psalm together with her siblings and her mother. The Lord is my strength, whom shall I fear? Will Count's photo of Elizabeth staring straight ahead, surrounded and spit on by the mob, would soon animate a country in a movement. Chaos closed the school temporarily, finally reopening with the help of President Eisenhower's speech to the nation, as well as the screaming eagles of the 101st Airborne Division. Unexpectedly, on October 4th, the Soviet Union launched the first Earth satellite, Sputnik 1, and the eyes of a frightened and bewildered nation turned from Little Rock to the heavens. No longer under the gaze of a nation, each morning throughout the school year, the nine students has at, met at Daisy Bates' home before heading to class. In mid-December, one of them, Minnie Jean Brown, was suspended for accidentally on purpose, pouring a bowl of chili on one of her taunters' heads, after which the cooking staff broke out into applause. On May 25, 1958, Ernest Green, the only senior among the nine, graduated from Central High. Dr. King looking on. And in September, citizens of Little Rock voted three to one against integration. Governor Favas closed all high schools for a year. The remaining eight, along with all their white classmen, classmates, finished via correspondence or at other schools around the country. Central High looks eerily like my old high school. We even have the same mascot, tigers. It terrified me to think what might have happened if I had lost my senior year. Before then, I was just another goofy high school kid, teenager, Senior year, Boy State, student body president, All-American football player, scholarship to the U. And that night, in the middle of, in the circle, our pilgrimage formed each day to share our thoughts and sometimes bear our souls. A bit embarrassed, I, I tried to explain what I was feeling and how complicated it all felt 
And the group's answer was simple. They embraced me. And together, we got ready to face the next day. In the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we see No, I won't be afraid I, I, I won't shed a tear just as long as you stand, stand by me, darling, darling, stand by me, stand by me, just as long as you stand, stand by me.